good. You can smoke if you want to smoke. That's uh, I just don't. Cause dude, we talked this like a couple episodes ago where he was saying about the voodoo thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, what's good, people? How the hell are you doing out there? We're over here chilling in the sturdy land, having a good old time. I hope you guys are as well. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh! I was informed that today is the last day of Hanukkah. Oh! And but that's that is the reason why we did two um Jewish horror movies this week. And actually right. we're ending it off with Hanukkah. Hanukkah. <laughs> Don't even know if I know you guys can't really see the title, but the title's Hanukkah. <clears throat> and uh yeah, this was another uh <laughs> this was another one. Let's just say that. This was another one. <laughs> yeah. Shit, man. <coughs> it's it. Uh, I have a feeling things are going to get better soon. I do have things that are going to get better. They have to. They can't get worse. Oh, they can. Not they can get way worse. Way worse. <sighs> I know you guys can see. If you see my, worse. you see the big background behind all three of us. You can see Lake. You can see blood in James's background, and you see Lake with the movie thing right over here. Blood Lake. That. That. We seen worse. Body but, five times that movie just gonna be playing all the time. <laughs> but don't do it. This is still bad. Oh yeah, I never said it was good. It was. It had potential. I feel like it had potential here and there. I like because I like that. You know what? Fuck that. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's dive into these early ratings. Let's dive into these early ratings because I already know like where I want to go with this shit. I think. <laughs> and um, what I give the last movie a three and a half. Yeah, I do like this one a little better. I'll say that. So I will give this movie oh yeah, a. Uh, let me see. <sighs> Fuck, I don't like it that much better though. Like, <laughs> I guess a four. I don't do like point two five and point seven five and all that bullshit. That fuck that. <clears throat> But you know what? Fuck it. 3.5 <clears throat> is what I'm going to give this movie. Because it wasn't that much better than the last one. But it was okay. better than the last one. I, mean, I enjoyed it more. You know what? I'll give it a 4. There was titties in it and blood. Okay. <laughs> a lot of titties in it, actually. So I'll give it there a was four. More, There was more than titties. Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. There was. There was some I'm going to give it a 4 as well. I'm also, I'm also at a 4. <laughs> What? <laughs> He's back. You're back. Uh, what are we doing? This is my rating. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, three and a half. You just had to be the one to fuck it up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we had a fours across the board, and then Mister <clears throat> Mister hey. finally got his papers comes hey. in here and, and just like, changes what? it. All. Once we start talking about it, it might drop, man. It might drop. That's true, but I still feel like it was a little bit better than the last movie, so it can't go for me. I can't go lower than a three point five for me. Okay. Unless I feel like it's worse by the time this conversation goes, but I feel like you have some shit to say, James. So, woo, go right ahead. All right. The best part of this movie was the sex scene where the girl is like, <laughs> "Yeah, fuck me with that small dick, that micro dick," that and the guy is just looking at her like, "What the fuck?" That shit had me rolling because it, it, she was keep repeating and repeating. It was like a two minute scene. She was just keep saying it, and I was like, mm -hmm. "God damn, yo!" All right, just just because we started with that situation, and I can't help it. That was the best part. I had to do it before I forgot. <laughs> I, I'm not starting with myself. So here's what I'm gonna ask you guys: Put yourself in that situation. What are you doing? I'm not saying any of us have those issues because we probably don't. We're all happily married or whatever the case may be. But in that situation, that's going on. What are you doing? Hey, I'm all along. I'm like that. <laughs> this I'm fucking sick. I, I only see two <laughs> options here. I only Hold see up. two options here. 
Hang on. I got to figure this shit out. Who wants to go first? Oh, okay. Hold on. My Chris. I'm he's already in the middle of it. Huh? My Please. Chris, though. He's already talking. Chris? Was your first time on Restream? No, nah, it's, it's fucking <laughs> not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Just pull me and drag me. It's not. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> so, two options here in this situation. You either go soft and leave, or you pound harder and make her feel it. But what are you doing? Probably pounding harder for the first minute or two, and then if she keeps going, then I'm probably out. Okay. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'm probably going to try to overcome. overcome. Poor choice I like of words on that one. <laughs> I like what you did there, sir. <laughs> no pun intended. I just she's just come. Oh God. <laughs> uh huh. Listen. I get it. I get it. Even though she'll say that, it sounded like she was enjoying it. I'm going to sit there and let her ride it out. Hold up, James. I'm trying to figure this shit out again. It's fucking. <laughs> it's, I don't know where to. <clears throat> oh shit. It's weird. Like I gotta. Restream, fix this shit. Aaron forgot how to zoom up on people. I thought you just <laughs> no, no, no. Can't just drag him over <clears throat> to me now. I'm literally trying to do that, and it's not doing. It. It's not grabbing it. God damn you, Restream! Let's try it from this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything else is working, but that. <laughs> literally, should work one time. <laughs> All right. Hey, I don't mind. I'm enjoying my thinner face. I am noticing my neck's a little thinned up. I'm starting to see my collarbone a little more and shit. You know what I'm uh, saying? There you go. There's you. I lost some hair in my head shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, God damn it. Like I said, it, even though she was saying all that, it still sounded like she was enjoying herself. So I'm going to sit there and ride it out. Let her ride it out. Just like he did. He let that shit go, but then he was all like, oh, at the end, like all sad. Like, I can't believe you're saying that shit. But hey, it's already going. Let it finish. Let it finish. Here we go with this bullshit again. <laughs> now, nah. free stream, fix this. <laughs> Yo, no, you never had a problem with this. What happened? I have no idea. I just started the thought of the third act. <laughs> like, I'm literally grabbing the whole screen. <laughs> There's nothing else. <laughs> hey, option number three, you ask, oh, yeah, if my dick's so small, why is your pussy so fucking worse? <laughs> All right. Guess I'm just going to have to make us big. I wanted to have it like that. What's your what's your reasoning? Until this reasoning shit is all. Oh, I, I, your... I'd be out. I'd be out. I'd say some hateful Maybe? shit. I'd be like, you know, there's way more than you than me. So uh, I can get pussy anywhere. Fuck you and your oh, size <laughs> lips and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces. That's some evil shit. <laughs> I'm okay. going to push her off of me and the bed. <laughs> then step over her like she's not there and go after her friend. Damn. Her, she, like, her friend? Yeah. She was a lesbian. <laughs> no, she was talking with the other dude in the living room. Okay, for one, listen, guys. <clears throat> you you got to get yours. Don't take it to heart. She's just a slut. Seriously. I don't you think I see get her ever mine. again. So if I'm not getting mine, she ain't he's getting hers. I'm out. <laughs> yep. He's like, she's like the CDTA. Everybody gets Yeah, she's eyes. a she's <laughs> a fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> What's, good? What's good, wise? What's good? What up, wise? You, you go you go to the alley and you fucking no load in her and just fucking leave. You throw out the trash. This guy you. is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> See, but a, a good cum dumpster doesn't speak, though. I don't need to hear none of that shit. Yeah, so, good point. They usually just ask for more. <laughs> that's, okay. that's a good point. They usually just go, oh, are you done? <laughs> oh, my God. Did you pull out? Yeah, I did. Oh, no right. <laughs> that's it. But that part didn't make me laugh, though. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, what the fuck? <sighs> that's crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I came in at just the right time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, this is I'm happy it's this is just like a slow slasher that Yeah. So well, growing up, that's the kid that grew up, right? The kid that's seen his father? 
Almost, he's the one who almost got sacrificed. <clears throat> yeah. This shit was painstaking. Fucking. Okay. I mean, it's it's so bad because I went into these like excited because I was like, okay, something that's not Christmas, that's a holiday movie. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like at this point, I'll take a fucking evil Easter bunny. Know. You know what I mean? Like, yep. give me something. But then, I mean, this was going to be a cool take. I thought it would be something cool. I get to see a little bit different side of, you know, some of the different types of tradition, I guess, uh, for this time of the year and stuff like that. But then it just didn't do anything. It definitely, I give it that. I give it points for being different. But again, it wasn't too engaging for me. I feel like I got lost. I feel like I just disconnected through the whole movie pretty much. Also, I didn't understand what the acting and the person who wrote this. What kind of actor sits there to where the killer's in front of him and have a whole dialogue, talk to him like your father's delusional, try to talk him out of killing people? <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You just walk up in there, knowing he's a killer, and you just, hey, you just have that normal conversation with him. Then it seemed like the killer was like, you're cool, dude. You're with me. Put his hand on his shoulder, put the thing on his head. He's like, yeah, until he yeah. said your, your father's delusional, you're a fucking nut job or something. Then he was like, what'd you say, fucker? Put them up on the wall and choke them, but I'm like, what the fuck? The acting, I did not like the acting in this. <clears throat> no, I didn't understand a lot of like the, the 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 Nazi walking down the street, like in front of the two Jews. I was like, what are the odds? Like, why yeah. why did they have to go out of their way to do this? Exactly, it wasn't believ- believable. I guess is what I could say. Exactly, like mm-hmm. like if they had have him drive past in a car and be like, ah, Jews, you know, fuck you, then I'd be like, okay, I can believe that, but just. Yeah, just walking, walking. Ooh, 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 <laughs> and no one says anything to each other. I'm like, uh, okay, yeah, no, <laughs> made no sense. It, it felt like it was just to kind of just throw the shit in there. Like, let me let's just you know why not, right? Type oh, the other funny part that I think he was German. That German dude with the fucking giant uh, dreidel. He was like, "Oh, touch my dreidel!" Then the one guy took his hand and had him touch it, like he was stroking him. That was pretty funny. I'll tell you the scene that stuck out to me, and it might just be because I'm trying to get into like movie making mindset. But did you guys notice at the gas station when they left that bitch there, when they voted on it, they pulled the car back and then went around and forward? Yeah. It seemed it seemed like I guess the camera was just in a bad spot because there was nothing in front of that car from the other angle. That's true. They they just didn't want to reshoot it. So when I saw that, I was like, Are you fucking kidding me, man? That bothers me. Like that that you lost points on just yeah, that no, scene like you alone. fucking lazy man. Come on, <laughs> they literally could have had the cameraman walk backwards a few steps, yeah. cut, go behind the car, film that, watch the car yeah. drive away, yep. cut, done. Two seconds, exactly. two fucking yeah. slices. Did you just see it go? Uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What, 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 what gave you like a couple more minutes of fucking editing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If Come that, on, literally, if that—that's <clears throat> sad shit. It is. Right. I, I mean, this did have, like you said, Eric. This had potential. This could have been That's a good mm-hmm. slasher. Yeah, yeah, and it, it could have been one that they could have had come come out every freaking year. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like how they do with any other type of like holiday slashers. They could have easily had this come out every year, some point during Annika, and <clears throat> because the, the premise of the story basically is. These they're getting uh, murdered because they're not following their faith. They're going against. Their they're they're sinning, like the one yeah. girl had tattoos, and also lesbian. Um. Uh, let's see. The Nazi got killed. The sex thing. The girl, the slut. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the only one they didn't kill was that hundred percent Jewish uh, black guy, Josh. Even though, was, yeah. even though, yo, know, I, I don't care what you say, that mom was trying to get some dick. No, she 100% was. I was about to bring up that scene. That thing <laughs> was so awkward. Yeah, yeah it was. He's like, was I'd love to fuck you, but uh, go to keep yeah. up with this. And I was like, what? Who yeah. wrote this? I know. It's sad. It was that sad. didn't make, yo, that made no fucking sense. That She's like, no what are you talking sense. about? I don't want to fuck you. I'm just saying, if you're serious, my daughter, I was going to leave the house to you guys. Like, okay. 
Yeah, but did you no. see her face when he said it and how she was kind of like looking down and shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she touched mm-hmm. his hand and she ain't holding oh, his hand. Like she was crotch gazing, she was looking at the pee pee. Yeah. She was trying to be like the Jewish Jewish Stifler's mom. Like, I wonder if it really <laughs> is bigger. Yo, oh, if you would have slammed if you'd have slammed that hammer on the table, she would have been all over it. Oh yeah. But he was that so shows. into the religion, like he was so faithful. I fucking hated his girlfriend's up. voice. Me too. That main blonde's voice, I don't know why. Like when she crawled in that back seat and slapped that dude, I was like, Your voice, like I'd slap you back. I would have slapped you if you <laughs> turned around. Don't, don't, don't talk to me. Cry. Like, like uh, I smoke, but you really smoke. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had that like, yeah, she her voice looked like she had like throat cancer or something. Oh my god. <coughs> it was and if she actually does and you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry too. Sh- but your voice sounds like shit. Like, yeah. I don't know who casted you, but goddamn. <laughs> Whenever I hear voices like that, all I think is fucking Marge's sisters from The Simpsons. Yes, yes. <laughs> yep. Homer. <laughs> Marge, tell Homer. Oh my God. Oh, homie. Whoa. <clears throat> exactly. Uh, what else stuck out? Then there was parts that were confusing. They're like doing like flashbacks or whatever the fuck it was, like to the cabin where the one girl's in a fucking hole of water, trying to mm-hmm. escape. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this part? And the one, and he's just thought- watching. He's like, go ahead, and escape. He's just watching. Just <clears> walk, <throat> the one that was naked in the bathtub. Yeah, the I mean, it, I mean, the part was cool where she fucking bit her own thumb off and shit, but then she yeah. stepped on a fucking bear trap and <laughs> chopped her fucking foot off, basically. Mm-hmm. But, and I will, that opener, I thought it was going to be, like, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty interesting. Like, you got me, yeah. how you're shooting it and everything. I'm like, why is she naked? Like, what is this? And then yeah. uh, quickly just flip. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. straight down. And even, I knew it wasn't going to be as good as I thought, only for how they got Sid Haig to act like he had died when he got shot and he was looking at his son. And, like, yeah. they panned up, like, right yeah. on his face as close, and he's like, Looking up and then slowly, <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, "Oh my fucking god, man!" Yeah, yeah. And, and this is the, the 1930s. That, yeah, and then the fact that like he's like one of the biggest names on the docket over here, and you have him killed in fucking twelve minutes or eight minutes. They could probably afford him that long, so I'll give him that. True. That's true, but that's why the rest of the movie is shit. He's been all <laughs> <the time. laughs> no, this, this is almost his last movie, pretty much, right? So I'm pretty sure at yeah. this point he didn't one give a fuck about movies, money. Yeah. I'm sure he, that's probably why he did it. He didn't give a fuck about money. He just wanted to just fucking have a good time, you know, a couple more times before fucking, you know, shit turned back. But yeah. come on, he should have read this. So certain scripts, man, especially his name. He should have known. He should have read this shit and be right. like, listen, dude. Nah, I can't do this one. This is Who knows? trash. Maybe for him being an actor who's such a veteran in the field, right? Maybe to him, in his mind, it was one of those things like, man, this brings me back to me just starting out. This brings me back to me being a new actor, just taking a role, just having a good time, just doing what I love to do, playing pretend and getting paid for it type deal. He was, I don't know, who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. But Captain, man, fucking Captain. I was like, and then this movie started getting worse and worse, and I was like, it's cool. I got the other memories, bro. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, when I seen his name in this, I thought he was going to be the straight-up killer through the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I did too. But there's a lot of movies that he's in that he has nothing to do with the actual like evil part or the killing part or, or anything mm-hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's just yeah. Not there. I mean, this dude's been in movie, in these types of movies since he fucking like the seventies, like since the early seventies. Like, yeah, dude, he has that look, man. We're talking fifty years, sixty years. He's, at this he's point. made you know for horror saying? movies. He was. Rest in peace, Sid Egg. By the way, yeah, legend. Yeah. Legend. I'm trying to see what else stuck out on this fucking movie. Uh, not much. Bye, Paul. Yeah, something happened. We missed My VPN was on and I was turning it off. I was like, why am I slightly lagging? Then I was like, my fucking VPN. Wow. Uh, the government can know I do have part of a podcast. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another thing that bothered me. What kind of fucking friends do they have? So what, <laughs> why do, they're, they're at the house, right? The the tires got slashed. They're sitting there like, oh, if you're stuck here till another day, the car is going to get fixed, blah, blah, blah. 
and find out the fucking kid who's throwing the party and the sister has a car. It, I don't care. It's two hours. Drive the motherfuckers home. Word. What the fuck is wrong with you? What kind of friend are you? They fighting for like driving. Who, know, who knows? I'm they like, dude. Seen. I'm like, dude, listen. It's going to cost me 200 for a taxi. You know, damn well, don't cost that much. I'll give you 50 fucking bucks if you fucking drive us home. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they're like, mm-hmm. oh, guess we have to stay here. Then their friends are disappearing. No one cares. They're sitting on the couch like, oh, where did fucking Sarah go or wherever the fuck their names are? Yeah, oh, and yeah, Cump Dumpster. Right. Where did Cump Dumpster go and fucking uh, Alan and whoever the fuck else is there? <laughs> yeah. That's even, even today's money, it's like $20 worth of gas tops for that two-hour trip. It's like, Facts. Oh, man. Thank you. Facts. <laughs> Even in today's don't get me wrong, you call Uber <laughs> here to Alb to here to Albany. Uh, you're talking about 20 25 minute drive, it's like 40 something bucks. So, uh, I yeah, understand, yeah, 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 absolutely. I understand it's expensive, but I would rather give it to a friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, dude, I'll give you 50 fucking really? bucks, try me home. 97 98 percent of people out there, though. Opposite way of thinking. Instead of helping their friends, they go and support everybody and every fucking thing else. It's exactly. fucking weird. It's yeah. fucking. Oh, I know you. I trust you. I believe in you. But I love this guy. What? Yeah. Yeah. Like True. you love me? You chill with no, me? No, you're stuck here. Hey, you guys are stuck here. But hey, guys, you want some uh, oh, but jalapeno so poppers? You have the right <laughs> to ask for a discount for something from me. Mm-hmm. Bro, I fucking. It, it, Blows my fucking mind about people, bro. Yeah. For one, they should give them a ride home for free because they invite them to a party that wasn't even a party. No, it definitely wasn't a party at all. That was no fucking party. party. They walked in, they're like, what kind of party? Where's the chicks in? Where's all the other people? There's nobody. You're like, Mm -hmm. dude, like, listen, you're driving me home, man. You fucking, this is false advertisement. You lied. Right. You're 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 yeah, a fucking bomb. You have no friends. Bring me home. Right after, <laughs> right after that, I'm going home. I would be so pissed. I'd be like, yo, dude, once I get home, don't fucking call me. Because right. I'm not going to none of your parties ever I again. Have to make a killing with my rent the homie app. I'm telling you. Fuck. You got people on the block, rent the homie. You need somebody to run the store, grab you some dunches, rent the homie. You need somebody to play some Mario Party, <laughs> rent the homie. You got some. And for one, and by the way, if I was single and shit in today's world, if I was sitting there, I'd be sitting on the couch, like in Tinder, finding a chick to match up in the area. Like, yo, I'm out of here. (laughs) (laughs) If you got to stay the night, yo, you got to, yo, do I got a room here? Yeah, uh, yo, she's coming here. No, because I'd be so pissed at looking at his fucking face. For this fucking stupid ass party, I want to leave. And that's, that's why true. you should go smash on his or his sister's bed. And then, you know. Yo, I really board. thought, yo, one thing, I really thought that one dude, uh, the one with the glasses, when he went in the room with the alcohol and with the lesbian chick, she was just yeah. laying there. I thought she was going to be like, you know what? Let me ch- try some dick. But nothing <laughs> happened. Nothing happened. I was like, oh, man, this guy can't catch a break. <laughs> You know what's you know what's funny about you saying that is that line that you just said would have fit perfect in this movie too. Like the way the way that the lines yeah. were moving on and shit, the, the script, it would have fit oh, perfect. Like, yeah, because she straight up said she was lesbian, but you know, sometimes you like because it's the other way around. Like someone like a, a, a straight girl would be like, huh? Yeah, fuck it. Let me try I, it. But it could have been it could have worked. They could have said that. And she's like, you know what? I'm bored. Let's try this out. I'm bored. Let's try this. But no, that guy couldn't catch a break. I mean, he couldn't catch a cold. <laughs> he couldn't catch Damn, chlamydia man. if he wanted to. Ow. <laughs> That's fine. Ow. That's just a penicillin shot and two pills. You'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying you can do it. Right that. <laughs> didn't say, like, the, the way he was. Uh, <laughs> he he, I mean, he, he was he, a cum dumpster one. So, so the thing is, here's the thing I, I found the reason why. The lesbian chick didn't work out with the other girl. She answered the question wrong. When the girl said, I'm not, a, you think I'm a slut? She said, yes. If she said no, it would have worked because she asked the same question to the dude and he said no and she was all over him. You just had to tell her that she was not a slut and she would have went with it. 
Mm-hmm. So the girl, because because she was making out, so they're actually making out and shit. Pregnancies. Pity's out. Yep. Yep. She was making out and everything until she asked that question. Then the one girl was too honest. She was like, "Yeah, you are." And then she was like pissed <laughs> off. She was like, "I'm not a slut. I was just joking." And she got she got up. But then she asked the dude in the bedroom the same question, and he was like, "No, you're not no slut." Then ride that micro penis. Yo, that. <laughs> and that Yo, his face expressions when she said that was probably the best acting. That's what I'll say. It was the best scene because I was sitting there laughing. He went from looking happy to when she started saying that he was just like. Yo, he was pissed after too on the couch. He was like, "Don't talk to me, bitch." She was like, yeah. "What's your problem?" And then, there's yo, a- and then, oh, go ahead, Paul. I was gonna say there was another scene that bothered me because I was confused because that kid was lying on the table. Then the cops come in. Then all of a sudden, the kid's just sitting straight up in the chair. And I was oh, like, "How'd man. you go from laying on your back, sliding over?" I was like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Like, I yeah. thought it was a different kid for a second. Sorry. That, that's another part where I was like, yeah. God. No, I'm doing the damn. same thing. I'm going, I'm going through all the scenes. I'm trying to do the same yeah. thing. <laughs> I was like, I knew there was something with that table scene that pissed me off in the beginning. I was like, that's what it was. So yeah. I was like, we when did you get up? When the, when the black dude comes back to the crib and finds everything out about how the one dude smashes the girl and all this other shit, nobody, <laughs> nobody told him shit about her being there and all this other shit. Brother did survive in this movie. That's a plus. The movie still sucked, though. So, so, uh, so the moral of the story, be faithful to your religion. Hundred percent, no sins. <laughs> and be black. <Yeah. coughs> I mean, is there another way it's supposed to be? Period. That if you say, "Hey, you're committing to something, whatever it is," you just yeah, be committed. Yeah, to do. yeah. Like, sure. You know what I mean? But but what I what I do, like I said, what I do, like like the premise, the story could have been so much better if they, like if they just had a a a tale, like say if they had a story like every other horror movie or whatever, but they have a story of this like if you're not into your faith like you're supposed to be you're gonna get you know you're gonna get dealt with pretty much I'm okay so by, no better terms than that okay and then so by, you, by the co- out of nowhere and it just falls over yeah it. so by the cover and the taglines what was the taglines again a horrifying yeah torrifying something uh, i was that, thinking of some kind of like another fucking hanukkah demon type thing going on mm-hmm. Like okay. an artifact, like the menorah. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like I was like, oh, cursed. okay. But then it started off kind of like that because the dude was like kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he was about to sacrifice. I was like, oh, he's going to sacrifice to some kind of demon or something. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, then it just went downhill. That whole scene set me up and just fucking disappointed me afterwards. I was like, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> we're, this, we're still talking about this movie, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, the, oh yeah, the movie. I, I wasn't here on Tuesday either, so I was like, "Shit, I didn't get to watch that episode yet either." Yeah. So, so yeah, that. so the beginning of this movie, it started with Sid. He's sitting like a crazy old dude sitting there. The girls in the bathtub chained up. The son, the kid. He was going to sacrifice the kid. Now it's in my head. I was like, he's going to sacrifice to some kind of demon. Okay. But then the cops came, shot him. But after that yeah, one yeah. scene where we're setting up something, I was like, "Oh, this is going to go dark." I was like, "This is going might be cool," but then it went downhill. Yeah, like the acting something. was yeah. good in the beginning. It was. It really was. Sid and the girl in the tub and the kid. It was fine. But then after that, when they introduced the fucking everybody the fucking else dorks, then it fucking just went downhill. Dorks. <laughs> I don't know. They just bothered me. Every one of those. I did not like any of these characters. None of them. I didn't like this movie. Now, were they all supposed to be Jewish? Why did he kill the other one? They sound they they are talking like they're fucking German or Italian or something. Like the one dude was talking like he was German. He's like, ah, you got my dreidel, there your dreidel. And then he got the other fucking dude with the cigarette. He's like, a whole different fucking accent. I'm like, what the fuck? Are they all Jewish or are they like why they is he killing the other people? But maybe they, maybe they. I don't know. <sighs> I don't even remember. See, because at first I thought it was just a joke. Like I thought they were pulling up with like um like a Muslim group, like their driver mm-hmm. with the gas station mm-hmm. stuff. So I was like, oh, oh, they're trying to be ironic, you know, with the Nazis, and then now they, you know, you have a mm-hmm. Muslim driving the yeah. Jews around, and then it was like, oh wait, no, they're supposed to be their friends. I was like, what is what is happening? How yeah, how do we I, 
There was, I was so confused. and there really wasn't an explanation besides those girls all hating that one girl and yeah, I don't know. Oh, the Russian chick that came yeah, later. The Russians on. that they they ditched y'all. They ditched her in a at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the night. Yeah, he was like third option. I could just leave you fucking here. And just leave. <laughs> I was like, wow. Then the other ones had a vote. They're like, oh, they actually gonna leave here. We could bring her a ride. And vote. They're like, nay, nay. They're like, I was just being nice. And they're gone. I'm like, wow. Yeah. And, and you see right wow. there. Let's let's just let's just discuss this part for a second, right? Because you gotta go back to your 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 party days, and we all know what that means. Right there, I would be like, yo, look, motherfucker, you better let her in before I knock you out. <laughs> Yeah, because that that's brownie points. That's possible. It wasn't in party nights, and you know, no, especially, that. especially that single dude. That's the one of the glasses. He could have been a hero. He'd be like, get out of the car. He'd be like, hey, come with us. We'll we'll bring you to the party. It's all right. Come on. He could have been the hero. Either that, either that, or if I'm not, if you're not going, I'm not going. I'll kick it with you instead. Fuck yeah, I'll sit here with you. Something. Oh. But now they just left her. I was like, God yeah. damn. I was like, that's fucked up. Even, and and then I feel like even if it was like say it's still a party thing, but you're not even trying to smash. I just feel like just as a guy, you're just like I can't just leave her out by herself at this random ass gas station. That's that's coldish. Like that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That ain't even right. Like I wouldn't even do that to to, to a dude. Well, I, it depends. If I didn't like him, fuck him. <laughs> but other then than what's, that, also then what's up with the fucking uh that fucking mysterious rabbi guy? It reminds me of the fucking uh the doctor from uh, Halloween. He just pops out of nowhere. He's like, he's talking about Michael Myers. He's like, is it, is it Michael? Michael's here. The neighbors, they got the thing. You know, he's like, I'm like, who the fuck is this dude? Out of nowhere, just walking around the yard. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, where did he come from? What's he about? All mysterious and shit. You just walk in the back door. It was unlocked. I was just proving a point. You don't lock the doors. Anybody can walk up in here. Your friends are missing. (laughs) (laughs) What? Like, how do you fuck you know my friends are missing? We didn't even know they were missing. Like, the other part, okay, the other part made me laugh when they all decided to go next door. They're like, let's go check it out. They're going to like pulling blankets off the mirrors and everything because so, someone died. That is a real tradition. You put the blankets over the mirrors, yeah. blah blah. Because we watched the other movie, he did that. Yeah, but he the pulled the blanket, the one chick's alive. He, he got scared, and he punched her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh <laughs> shit. Because that's an honest reaction. That's a true reaction right there. Yeah, it's just a knee jerk. That's why yeah. it made me laugh. That, that, uh, this movie, though, man, it was just. <laughs> and, like, the cover is cool, both of them. The one with the candles and then yeah. the one with the the one I just showed him a few minutes ago. And oh, and by the way, they, they threw a joke in there, too, about they're like the one girl. I think it was the girl. She goes. Why isn't there more uh, when they're watching movies in the bedroom? They're like yes. they're watching the thing. She was like, "Why isn't there more Hanukkah movies, horror movies?" Hanukkah. Yo, and I, I was like, "Facts." <laughs> I said the same thing. I was like, "Why have we need some more Jewish horror movies? Some good Jewish, like some good Jewish horror movies." She said Hanukkah, but good Jewish horror, good Hanukkah or either yeah. or. I mean, it was know. cool though. She was watching the thing. That is that was a great part of this movie. I guess to see a little bit of that, but. But wow. yeah, other than that, this movie is trash. You know it what? Fuck it. I'm going back down to a. I'll put it down to a three. This is garbage. Ooh, a three. Damn, so we went down. Yeah, I went down. I can't help it. It pissed you're me off. It on a little little thing. Bit. So, just to be clear, James Matthews Aragatha. <laughs> this is better than Jerusalem to you. Or Jerusalem's better than this to you because you gave Jerusalem a four. Yeah, I guess so. All right, that's fair. I'll tell you I, what, though. I'm going to bump this back down to a 3.75 like I was originally going to do. because A 3.75? <laughs> yeah. Because I do, I do like it better than the last movie we watched a little bit, so I don't want to yeah, give yeah. it a 3.5. It doesn't deserve it. <laughs> This one just had a whole bunch of nonsense that I didn't understand. At least at the last movie, I understood the whole thing what they were doing through the whole fucking thing, but it was, just it was, it was still crap, but yeah, yeah, this one just pissed me off a little bit. Right. Did you watch this movie today, Chris? I might have I to did. lower my score because it made this movie made Chris sober. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, I had a stroke in two days. Damn, <laughs> he was too stressed out about the internet. He's no, like, he's I can't smoke. Like, I gotta concentrate fixing this internet shit. I gotta fix this. 
Yeah, no, well, honestly, it was actually different. I did so many other things. Like, I got to scrap my car. I had to clean that out. I fucking re-cleaned the house and shit. But fucking went, I'm looking for my title. Like, shit, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. well. And then I'm using, it's weird. I have no internet connection, but it's allowing my messages to go through on Messenger. I'll take it. Hey, I was still having some motherfuckers gonna from everybody. You know what I mean? That's all I cared about. Damn. Hey. Yeah. Fix his yeah. internet, internet people. Whoever oh, that, you I guys. Mean, yeah, the, the, I feel bad because I was looking and the dude was out there till like 7, 7 30. So I was kind of like, uh, do I check? He didn't come and tell me nothing, but it sucks too, because National Girls out there working on the same two fucking poles. <laughs> Oh, so, so it's I don't something know going if they on. were working around each other, or right. if that was yeah. part of the issue that may have happened initially in the first place. Anyway, probably, probably, probably all connected. You should just throw him like a kitchen knife out there and been like, bite cut him, to death. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I, I just like, dude. I got I, you. Got to understand, okay? Listen, I'm not freaking out. I'm not no millennial. I can live without the internet, okay? The thing is. Is that I'm kind of trying to do this thing all on the internet with like creating a business out of myself and brand. It's been a couple years. It's been like four days for me right now. The last stretch that I went without internet was only like three to four days. So we're coming up on the end of here. The last time that happened was like three years ago. So I just kind of want to get things going so I can get mm -hmm. back to doing what I do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The guy's like, all right, man. So, yo, besides that, I must have edited off screen 50, 60 different clips. Fucking like I was I'm sitting here awesome. laughing at the old videos and shit that I got. I had, Dude, I had so many old videos, clips and streams from my shit that I started mm -hmm. going through. And I only got through like six or eight streams out of like 30 in mm -hmm. the past four days. And like I'm like. I can live without the internet. I'm good. As soon as that bitch comes up, <laughs> I get somewhere with Wi-Fi. Upload, upload, upload. upload. There you go. <laughs> that's cool. That's that's cool. It's like, fuck there, it. Was there anything in this movie you guys think could have been different enough to where you would have rated it above a five? Anybody else writing it and shooting it? <laughs> that's start. I mean, that's fair. It feels, well, no, like, it feels like a legit <laughs> slasher movie. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And a solid with a solid story, a solidish story. Yeah. With, again, you're not following the faith, and kind of give us that background and just the whole. You see the thing spinning. I don't know what it's called. If I keep calling it's it, it's a dreidel, 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 dreidel. dreidel. You see the dreidel yeah, spinning. Yeah. You know, and maybe the Pacific dreidel, <laughs> and all that. You know, and just kind of that, and kind of go with that story, and just right. make yeah, like you guys said, make it a legitimate slasher. And it only happens around Hanukkah, or, there, or it happens through the whole time through Hanukkah is when it happens. For those who are not participating in their faith during that whole time, whatever, whatever goes on during that time. Yeah, that if they're not doing better, what they're supposed to be doing. Boom. Exactly. Yep. Better, for right, one, how does he know all the Jewish people? He's stalking Jewish people. <laughs> He's but watching them. He's like, "Are you sinning?" He's watching. He's like, "That's a sin." Let's just let's just say he's an entity for whatever reason. Let's just say he's nah, nah, he's just a fucking weirdo. He knows where all the Jewish people are. Hey man, maybe this is his life uh, purpose out here. You know what I'm saying? He's the vessel for making sure people remember. You don't fucking follow the rule, you fucking pay. <laughs> right to God. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. But again, it was just it wasn't portrayed very well. To no, it was really bad. It was really yeah. bad. Yeah, this was bad. They, I was I was expecting much more. Yeah, was they, they could have set up like Sturdy said the whole like reasoning behind the, the, the thought process mm -hmm. behind it, or is this guy crazy wackadoo for sure? Is he have multiple personalities? Is he possessed? Honestly, I like that you say that. So I was gonna say with 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 stuff that's closer to like the rel well, yeah, religious stuff. I'd rather be like a possession slash haunt you know one of the, go with kind of that realm just because it kind of fits i'm not saying a slasher does not work i, I love slashers do not get me wrong if they could have did this properly it would have been awesome but like before i even you know before i before i watched this shit i'm ex i was kind of expecting more of like a paranormal type or something like that and which Same. i would have fucking loved so i seen sid Haig was in i was like okay this is probably gonna be more closer to some sort of slasher and you know but still 
the paranormal aspect of it, I would love to see a really good paranormal aspect of a movie based on Hanukkah or like that mm-hmm. spiritual kind of horror, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Genre. Because I think it would be an awesome, awesome thing. And they could. In my mind, I could see them doing like um, like how Hitler like experimenting a lot. Like, okay, Hitler gets one of their menorahs and he's fucking around with it. Well, then all of a sudden, you know, it starts messing with him and his family. You know, some, not necessarily Hitler, but we'll just say, you know, yeah. a Nazi, I, period. I, That'd I, be you, a movie I'd watch. That. Even if you didn't do the whole Nazi route, it could just be someone who just, again, if you just go with, with the basis of the story of not following the faith. Right. And then tell you yeah. just tie it into the week of, to the, I think it's more than a week. Where they can, it's not like, because the, there's eight candles, each candle each day. So does eight something day, yeah. different. And if it makes, you got to try to figure it out by, before the last day. Damn. Or it takes your soul or something. There you go. There so you the go. ring, it's just the, the menorah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Or you get turned into a dreidel or something. Or one of the candles. And you, Ooh. one of the candles, and every time it's lit, you feel it burn. I was so going to say, dead. every time a, a candle's gone and you lose a day, you feel weaker. Uh, like, what the fuck's going on? And then by the time you get to day eight, you're either about to die or you save yourself. Yes. So, yeah. Again, like all good. The entity can get stronger. You can get weak. There's so yeah. many ideas that can be. Somebody do it, please. Seriously. Yes, I would thing, love yeah. to see it. And again, I feel like, again, I'm going back to the whole, like, with the religion thing. I know everybody's not religious, but it ties in with those type of movies perfect. We have to yeah. that. It ties in so freaking well. No matter what your beliefs are, I, I don't care right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah. No disrespect when I say it. I'm just like I don't care because I don't want to have that conversation. I thought this podcast was about. <laughs> you know, but when you get that, because you get the, you, you you get the feels from it, you get the realism from it. I feel in a sense, especially if you're watching with someone who who has those beliefs, or if you do have those beliefs yourself, to the point to where it, it just and then of course you're just interested in the story. You're interested in the story. Like this, this is one of those movies to where it should have had a really good story. Mm-hmm. And again, going with paranormal, and that's that's one thing I love about like a really good paranormal story. Or that realm of it, mm-hmm. Conjuring, for example, good story in my opinion. Yeah. Good story, yeah. And that goes so much further with those type of movies than jump scares. I do feel I do feel those jump scares in those films are important. Mm-hmm. But if you just have jump scares without a good story, you just have jump scares, mm-hmm. and then yeah. and then they don't hit the same because then you're not into the story where you're just like, oh shit, oh fuck, right. oh my god, you're just like, oh man, when the fuck is this gonna be over? Oh shit. I don't- I think that's why I keep watching all the Paranormal Activity movies, honestly, mm-hmm. because they have a very strong story, in my opinion. I know See, it is mainly it. just jump scares, because it doesn't scare me at home. In theater, it's fun. You react with other audience members and shit, but as far as the story goes, I, I thought the story was how'd you Okay, how would you like the new one? The origin, the blood. See, the when they kind of went off and did their own little Ugh. thing, you know, I respect Paramount, I guess, um, but... <laughs> I guess. Like, it didn't tie into like... Yeah, the orig- I, I, original. Yeah. So I was like, uh, nah, I, was like, I need the, the two sisters. This? And shit. Right. I, I thought it was fun for what it was. I wish they had just called it something different. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to honestly have to go back through that franchise. I yeah, don't same like here. Yeah, and give it another watch. It's the one with the, the cover that's got the girl's half face with the skeleton ghost looking face. And she's like an Asian chick in the house or something. Um, damn. This must have been. Six years ago, six or eight years ago, probably. I want to say Paranormal Activity four or five. Mm. I couldn't even. I honestly, I couldn't even tell. I don't know. I think there was one before. where it ended where it goes back and shows like the first chick from the first movie. Is it where the sister goes the back? house with a bunch of people in robes and shit like that or something? Like I, I don't remember which one that was though. I think that I think that was four. four. So I think well, five was the Spanish one, wasn't it? Or was that six? See, I'm now I don't even know. Maybe I'll see, I see, I'll see, see him in order. Let, let me look it up. I'll look it up. Now, now, now all right, question, just... guys. We we've done we've we've been doing some holiday movies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I know there's Santa movies and there's Krampus and there's all these other things, right? But mm-hmm. like some Violet Night and stuff like that. But are there any like supernatural? Like uh, Santa on. movies where Santa like either tries to teach a lesson or you like, you know, what I mean, kind of like what we just said about this guy for Hanukkah. 
Can we do I'm the same sure. for Santa where like if you were bad as a child and then you grew up and you're making even worse mistakes now or you're, you're doing even more like perverse things or diabolical things, you're on the naughty list. So Santa comes after your kids type shit. Interesting. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you were on the bad list as a child. You're now an adult who's bad. Well, guess what? Now I'm coming for your gifts, which were your children type shit. You know what I mean? I now he's going to fucking fuck with the kids or take the kids away. He's Santa Claus. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, not sure. yeah I'm not sure on that. I know there's like I'm a, uh, I know there's a movie called Advent Calendar, but that had, it's like not Santa, but it's each day. It's like some fucking kind of, it's fucking. Yo, up. were it's Elf on a Shelf as a horror movie? Elf on Shelf? I, that oh, would be fun. I think you know, we got tricked. Fun. You just remind me, and I was so fucking pissed. Oh off. my god, it was his, co it was his cover. <laughs> it was called Elves. It was so fucking cool looking. And yes. we watched it. I was so fucking <laughs> mad. That movie was trash. It had nothing to do with the cover. Yeah, I was so I was like, you fucking fault advertising piece of shits. <laughs> they knew what no, they were no, doing. No, 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 no. Fuck, you, man. You, I was no, no, so no, no, mad. No. No, 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 no. You have a right. He has, trust me, people, he has a fucking right to say what the fuck he's saying. Look at this. <laughs> no, I feel you. I, I saw elves. I saw I, I absolutely. I was so it. fucking yeah. mad, man. <sighs> Shit, so now mad. you got me thinking of a crossover movie with fucking Elf Will, or uh, Adam, or what's his name? Fucking Will Ferrell. Santa? Will Ferrell. And Fred Claus, fucking uh, Vince Vaughn. Could you imagine if they're like part of the same universe? And he's like, "Oh shit, yeah, I, you're Santa's son too." All right, never mind. <laughs> my mind's just going places. Oh, you're my brother. I should that probably smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that movie'd be too much energy between those two, especially oh. these characters in particular that they play. Yeah. Oh, that'd be yeah. dope. It'd be fine. I did just I did It'd just watch that Fred Claus recently. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we I, watched. I did, we I reviewed it. Fucking and oh, then yeah. fucking Vince Vaughn being like, "What's wrong with this guy over here?" <laughs> Lay off the sugar guy. <laughs> yeah, freaking. Oh my god. Oh, that movie's so funny. Oh, he's such a like fast talker, like hustler type mm -hmm. dude. Vince Vaughn when he gets into his little spiels with his jokes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking love it. Fucking love it. Speaking of being fast, I didn't like the dialogue or the pacing for the, the movie. Okay. Um, for Hanukkah. Did or did? Oh, oh, no, no, I, for, I did oh, not. For this movie? No, I didn't either. Yeah. I, that, when, uh, that's what makes it so hard to digest and keep go or even give a fuck, period, honestly. Like, yeah. it literally, it's hard for you to pinpoint what exactly made yeah. me disconnect throughout this entire movie. <laughs> it's like right. every single time I would start to get into a rhythm or I'd be like, oh, yeah, it was honestly it was basically like, almost looking away and then oh something's got my attention and I'm, I'm coming back and then I'm man. oh I'm back yeah. no like yeah. no nah, it was basically it you for a second it just throws you or drops you off a cliff yeah it's basically what we've all been saying since the beginning of the episode it was like the first what ten minutes fifteen minutes of the movie max to where it was the best. And then from there, just fucking just went downhill. Nose bomb. <laughs> Had maybe a couple of bumps, a couple of bumps here and there, but for the most part, just kept going downhill. And yeah, yeah. one or two. And landed on a three and a half, three point seven five. <laughs> it, it, it just, oh, man. No, they should have went. They should have leaned into the slasher part more. Showed more kills. Yeah. Um, but. No, it, it just didn't work. Did not work. It did not work. <laughs> but Trash. Let's hope, you know, let's hope we have better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying that for two fucking weeks now. <laughs> what are next week's episodes? <laughs> I'm about to grab them right. I'm about to grab the movie covers right now. I didn't make the um, Hell I yeah. think for them yet. I think uh, one of them is the lodge. Yeah, the lodge. It's uh, the lodge. Um, the mean one. Lodge oh yeah, the mean, the mean one. one. The mean, the mean one. one. Yeah, that's the Grinch one, right? I've been yeah, 
I wanted I to see that last that year. You did or didn't? I haven't seen it. I wanted to, but then Christmas is over. Then I was out of the mood because it wasn't holidays. I was like, yeah, I'll just wait till next year. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. I did see Winnie the Pooh, though. Yeah, I seen I that. Watch that. I watched it. <laughs> and uh, Fire too. I still haven't seen that. Oh, really? that was good. Yeah, it was. It was uh, they're making it's official. They're making Winnie the Pooh too. Yes, I can't fucking wait. I believe they're, gonna do it. they're making. They're a making Winnie the Pooh part two. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, also, Terrifier three. I believe they're making a Bambi one. They're making Bambi. Yup, Bambi. So. Cocaine Here's the Not cocaine mm -hmm. Bambi, just a killer fucking Bambi. Oh, they're okay, trying yeah. to fuck. They're trying to fuck people's childhoods up. No, they're trying to. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> I love it. I wish these movies came out when we were younger. But that's anyway, what I'll say. So, for those of you who have been watching Horror Story Sturdy, we've been a part of you know the whole Sturdy verse, the Sturdy, you know, over here in Sturdy Land. Um, when I started doing my live shows, I started like late at night, like midnight. Well, guess what? That's coming the fuck back. It's not going to be every weekend. It's basically going to be when I'm awake. And say my <laughs> my when, when, when I'm awake and I want to record and whatever the case may be, you know, type of deal like shit like that. So special, so, yeah. special episodes here and there. Yeah, it may be, it may be, it may be, you know, maybe weekly, maybe biweekly, maybe once. A, I, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, kicking it off this Saturday midnight. And someone's going to be making a debut. A debut. Up to someone old. See up that on top of that, on top of that, someone that was, which I've told plenty of stories, and I'm sure we'll have some for you guys, but that actually got me in. One of the people that got me into horror. One of the original people that got me into horror. Really? Five, yes. It has to be a family member. One of your yes, cousins? Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. So that would be fun. And if you guys want to tune in, if you guys want to join you guys here on screen, I know James old ass will be sleeping. I don't like you. Or I'll, be, I'll, I'll be my 40, but, almost uh, 40. Listen, I'm turning 41 next month, man. I'm old. It's a wonderful knife. Okay. We'll be nice. reviewing on Saturday. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. You got that blue shirt, James? No, nah, I don't need that yet. <laughs> and then. <laughs> It's not Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday, we're kicking it off with the yes. large. The large. And the T is upside down, guys. It is. Oh, so just he lodge. <laughs> so they're okay. So now they're going to say they're going to make it paranormal. You're not welcome here. We'll see. I'm going to be, gonna be so. I'm going to be so bad if it's not paranormal. Okay. Scary <laughs> as hell. So the the next great who horror fucking, film is here. The person that said that fucking tagline, that fucking quote up top. Slash film. Which one? What are you talking about? You're talking about the, the quote up top, right? Yeah, Slash that's films? serious hell. The next great yeah. horror film is here. It's by a company called Slash Film. Okay. Are they even still around? <laughs> <laughs> Can we trust them? How many reviews know. have they actually done? <laughs> the, the thing is, I heard this movie before, but I have no clue what's about and what people said about it. Yeah, I, it, it's something that I've heard. I've heard of this movie, and I wanted to see it. I just don't remember if I've seen it or not. So obviously, I got to watch it. I know I didn't review it. That I do know. And that Thursday's and, the mean one, right? Yes, sir. The mean one. Mr. Grinch. I was looking forward to this one. Thursday's David the mean Horton. one. Yes, sir. Thursday's so the meeting. What was one. the other one? Tuesday? The Wasn't last. there another movie you just showed us? Yeah. So oh, that's, that's, uh, that's for midnight. 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 Saturday, oh, midnight. got you. My bad. Oh, good. Oh, good. But yeah, the, then, the uh, meeting meeting remember, my brain's not working right. There's no fucking cannabinoids in it. <laughs> Good morning, next Thursday. We'll be uh, our, uh, finishing off, you know, the Christmas. In Jewish horror, I'm still films. gonna fuck it up somehow. Watch, <laughs> I know. <laughs> what's right, good, so, Dad? What's good? So wonderful knife for Friday, right? So Saturday. let's turn that around. So Tuesday, yeah. first up, we got the Lodge. Thursday, we got the mean one, and Friday, we got it's a wonderful knife. Nope. This Saturday, we got it's a wonderful knife. 
The Saturday when? What are we talking about? I thought you were doing Midnight Friday gamings. No, you're just fucking with me. I'm I'm ignoring this nigga now. All right, cool. cool. <laughs> You know, Friday is a hey, different man. day than Saturday. Chad, if you're free Saturday midnight, you're more than welcome to join. You're more than welcome to join. I don't know what you're doing, but if you're, you're free, trying to get people to stay up late, I I already got two. Yeah, I got two. You two know, I'll definitely. probably be up at that point, so I'll probably just hop on. Yeah, I should be awake. God, shit, Logan, listen. The more the merrier for this. Do I? Have I don't to know how the movie is at all. I have no. I don't know anything about the movie. Oh, you haven't watched It's a Wonderful Knife yet? Nah, I haven't either. Oh, I can't wait. I'm, I I'm yeah. gonna watch, Actually, I'm gonna watch it this weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it this weekend. It just came out this year. Oh, yeah, it just came out like last weekend. Last weekend, something, last Friday, something like that. And then I may have. I if I do a, if I record next weekend, I may have another uh, Christmas horror one. But I don't think I'm going to because it's gonna be. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. It's gonna be Christmas Eve, isn't it? When did this Hanukkah movie come out? 2019. I know. Okay, I can't even say the statement. I was, I was about to be like, okay, the movie's brand new, so more than I'm likely, at least there'll be some quality to it. It'll look good, you know, maybe. It, you, but now I'm like, wait, that one just came out a couple years ago, too. That wasn't that great, so I don't know. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. It happens. Yep. It happens, you know? It yes. happens. Oh, fuck, man. It just... Oh, by the way, people, I don't have a freaking thingy for it, but next Friday, another cast is for a cause. We're doing all for lunch again. We're doing a nice little script read. Uh, yes. And uh, what movie was it again? Uh, uh, vacation. Christmas story, I think? No, it's a Vacation or Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Uh, next Friday, yes, Christmas nice. Va- we're going to be doing Christmas Vacation. And the cool thing about that, go over to the scene clouds and you know, check it out, donate to the charity, share it, all that good stuff. But nice, a fun script read again. And then, guess what? The next day over on Popcorn and Pints, we're reviewing that same movie. So, tune in for that. You're gonna have a good time with that. And yeah. don't forget to go join the Popcorn and Pints Patreon with all the great episodes. This Saturday is gonna be a banger, so you don't want to miss that. No, you won't. No, you won't. And you can join Patreon right now right just right for a dollar a month, right? We gotta go get it next oh, week. yes. You can jo- nice. They're doing vacation on Tuesday. Yeah. Patreon. over Right over here on Horror Research 30. $1 a month. Same on Popcorn and Pints. But on Popcorn and Pints, we also got a $5 tier. There'll be one over here soon. I got I got some things tinkering. I got some things tinkering. Don't worry. Which is absolutely worth it. You guys can save you money. Because if you hear Sturdy give a review, you can already know if a movie's worth seeing or fucking not. It's going to yeah. be like 20, 30 bucks. <laughs> I believe I already know what I'm doing for my first one of my tiers. Not one of my tiers. I am doing the Blood Lake tier. I was telling you guys about that Blood Lake challenge, that Blood Lake battle. Um, don't get me wrong. I enjoy watching shitty movies, but for me to go to that level, mm. it, it I, I, you know, it, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a little different now, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a little different. I don't give a shit. I'll say it. You want me to go through some more abuse? Pay me. You know I mean? Fuck you, pay me. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's gonna get the knuckle tats. Don't oh listen to him. God. Don't listen to either one of them. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's, it's, they're they're tough. They're tough. I mm. hate blood mm. So yeah. And you guys know, I'll explain more. Once that tier comes out, I'll explain more of how I'm going to do it, what's going to go on with it. But yeah, I'm going to have some fun stuff out for you guys. Um, Thank you. And just make sure you guys tune in to Horror Research 30. Every single Tuesday, every single Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, whenever I'm live. Whenever I go live on Saturdays, whenever I game on Fridays, Saturday, all that good shit, just, just go live. Keep your eyes peeled because Sturdy's going to start dropping some more shit again. And staying busy, short form, long form, all that shit. I had to take a little break, you know. I had to rest up, but I'm back and I'm ready. Oh, six year anniversary, January first. Tune in for that, people. You already know how that is. It's a, or you know, freestyle show, not a review, just talking some shit, having some fun with some fun people. And I'm uh, doing a countdown show for the first time this year. Uh, it's going to be on the 29th of this month. It's going to be a top five of 2023. Top five of first time watches this year. 
bottom five of watches this year. Just have some fun. There we Just go. Have, but uh, yeah, check out Horror Research 30. Go to HorrorResearch30.com. Check out the Z Network. Amazing content creators on there. There's so many awesome people on there. Check out Worst Damn Gamer. He's a part of the Z Network. Not a part of the Z Network, but go check out the Scene Snobs. I, I love those guys Ooh. over there. Go check out the Three Geeks. Go check out the Three Geeks. Go check out over on the Z Network now. Going back to the Z Network real quick. Go check out Smart Nato. Those are my guys over there. They just did their first live the other night. Um, expect more to come. And I'm going to talk them into doing more live shit and more visual shit and putting it up on their YouTubes and all that. But they're, they're getting there. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you guys like this. They have an awesome show, right? I don't even watch wrestling. I listen to the show and enjoy it. I tune okay. in every for it. And I don't even watch wrestling. And I don't even just listen to it because they're my friends. I actually enjoy the conversation. I enjoy the back and forth banter and all that fun shit. And, you know, I used to be a wrestling fan back in the day. I love listening to the older stories. And talking. I was on an episode, actually. I was on an episode. Halloween special. Halloween Havoc from 97. Yeah, go tune into that episode. But also, let them know 30 cents you when you go to that episode, too. Let them know in the comments. <laughs> Five stars on a good show, especially for that episode. If you don't give them five stars for any other episode, matter of fact, here's what I'm gonna say. Every, <laughs> every podcast that Search 30 is on, five stars. Just give it five stars. I don't care if I was only on the episode once, twice. I don't care if I don't like the person. Five stars for that episode. The rest, you do as you like. And with that said, people, I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace. Have a great Peace time. Out. Did not like this movie, but I like you guys. Happy holidays, everybody. Shalom. Yeah. Happy, happy Hanukkah. Shalom Aleikum. Ha- happy Hanukkah to everybody out there that celebrates. Have a great night. <laughs>